the Weird Girls Club Podcast, with your hosts, Maeve and Amy. Hi, Hi. Welcome, welcome back to, to another, another episode, episode of, of the Weird Girls, Girls Club, Club Podcast. <gasps> And on today's episode, <laughs> I'm Dr. Phil, and this is my co-worker, Oprah. Co-worker. Yeah, co-host. I, oh, co-host, yeah. I like co-worker. I was trying to think of something. You get mental illness. You get mental illness. We you need get mental you illness. You need some help. She needs some milk. <laughs> I love that one. He needs some milk. Um, But today, we're doing some... Dilemma. So it's Dr. Amy and Dr. Neve here to help you with your needs. Disclaimer, we're not actually doctors or professionals. No. And we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. But we're going to no. give our opinions on your life because you sent us some dilemmas yes. to talk about. Um, so that's what we're going to do this episode. I'm actually looking forward to this. Let's give some good or bad advice with Neve and Amy Show. Well, everything we say take it with what's the saying take it with a pinch of salt oh yeah pinch of salt why did he say that salt, salt bay. Bay. <laughs> <laughs> right why did he say take it with a pinch of salt Where? I don't know um so I think we should just jump right into let's it. dive right in what is I haven't I haven't read them so I haven't seen any of them so, so yeah some fresh. are like relationships some are friendships and some right. are just help Outright ridiculous. Um. Yes. Yeah, so, let's jump into this one. So, oh my god, I told people I had sex with my girlfriend. Okay. All right. Let's so me and my girlfriend have never had sex. She is a very quiet person, and last month I was with my group of friends in quotation marks, um, and they were asking if we were still virgins or we had already had sex. Then they asked me and I just nodded my head. I'm socially awkward, so it's difficult for me to feel rejected. I told my girlfriend last night and she got like mad, confused, angry, everything and said she's not sure if she w- wants to continue a relationship. I honestly love her so much and don't want to lose her. I didn't want to do any harm. I actually didn't even mention her. What can I do to save my relationship? Uh, I'm gonna assume like they're young. Love. It sounds like teenage yeah, love. Yeah, I'm gonna assume they're young. I'm like, uh. I think, like, just tell her, grovel. Just grovel. Just tell her how sorry you are and that you should have yeah. spoke up and just said the truth. But I just tell her, like, I was just socially awkward and I didn't really want to talk about it. With the boys are like his friends, so he just kind of agreed along just to like keep them happy so he wouldn't ask them that. Yeah, I I can totally get that, like, being in situations where everyone's like, oh, what about this, 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 and that? And they're all talking about stuff. And you're just like, mm, in the corner, like, mm, yeah. Because, uh, like, when you're younger, I am assuming when they're younger, they didn't, like, give us a rage or anything like that. Um, you just kind of agree because mm-hmm. you want to fit in. You'll you'll yeah, say you have soul bleeding sand to the fucking whatever to, like, just fit in. Sand to fit in. Man to yeah, fit in, like, to fit in. Because you just don't want, like, with stuff like that, it's, like, awkward. Like, it's like, Ugh, I don't really want to talk yeah. about it with you. And, like, it is kind of, like, like, and like that, like, your first time, you do have kind of, like, it's like with it's awkward person, like you're like you don't say anything i'm not gonna say anything it's yeah. no one's business like do you yeah know that kind ain't of nobody way? business but man in my life, but um my but yeah but i can also see like where you're getting out as a girl because i think the stereotype for girls is like there's a lot more shame on a girl yeah for doing things and stuff like that where when it's boys talking like this and that so i can see where she's come from where she's like they're gonna just assume it's her if that's your forced relationship maybe yeah like, like it, even though you didn't say Anne. and it's no one else's business so yeah you sh- probably just said should have said like no yeah but you didn't you said yeah but if i was you i'd just grovel and yeah i did i think how sorry you are and that like yeah you won't, you won't talk about your relationship with them again like just like yeah just yeah because she's probably mad but she's probably done the same with her friends as well like that's obviously just assuming but, but i think girls would more be like no i actually haven't done that yeah like fellas are like peacocks they like yeah the true of, do you know, kind but of. um yeah i think gravel maybe buy her some flowers buy her take her to like somewhere for dinner or something buy yeah, her, her nando's or something um next one where are we going where are we going <laughs> Trent's like, hello. Trent, what are you doing? Uh, this is a funny one, and it's kind of different, and it's not safe for work by the force. Le- What's that called? By the head, and it's not safe for work. Um, so just bear that in mind to anyone listen, if they're listening out loud and they're actually in work. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> my friend won't give me head, but he expects me to give him head. <laughs> 
Okay. Sorry, I didn't. I don't. I didn't mean to laugh. It was just like different than what. Well, we is that it? No, sorry, sorry. I'm just like I was like. If I was like I'm ready to jump in. On yeah, this I'm one. like sorry if I you're listening. No I just laughed. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> um, but when I got with my boyfriend, I was a virgin, but he was not. Um, he had already been with a few other people before me. About two years later, oh, about two years later, we split up after some complications. Eventually, after we split up, he ended up messaging me messing around with a few girls as in sex head etc while i met uh only one other boy and i started talking to him and dating him for a while which was the only guy i've actually ever slept with besides the original boyfriend um but then i broke that off and my boyfriend broke off all the other girls so we could get back together me and my boyfriend were talking today about how he wouldn't give me head anymore because i used to be a virgin and now it's gross because i was touched by another boy even though since we've been back together these past few months i've given him head plenty of times even though i know he's been with other women during the during our break um oh oh he's been with other women during our break but i didn't really care much since i was i was oh since it was when we broke up i've never been the type to really care about receiving head and never have much in a relationship because i'd rather give than receive but the fact he refuses to makes me upset because it to do it for him I do it for him so I told him if he thinks it's so gross and I won't do it for him anymore and I'm serious I won't be doing it for him ever again and even if he had the audacity to ask me why and be so confused then throw an attitude as if that's not fair the fact I even had to explain to him how it isn't fair makes me question why I'm even with someone with this mindset so even without that background like does the fact that he expects head but he won't give it like that's all that i needed to go on like i don't need no backstory yeah. who you're it with, just got you're worse with. reading the backstory yeah like i don't even care if he's not willing to do it then you're not willing to do no. it. no same reason if he gives you a reason you give that reason back to him don't think exactly. Khaled doesn't give his wife head but think she should give him head yeah to be honest to me that's just like keeping women down as women yeah that's he- how like how can across. you say that's disgusting but i actually well <laughs> but expect your wife girlfriend or a girl to actually suck where you piss off yeah you piss off that thing that so smells like cheese you don't you don't want to lick down there where i piss off but you want me to suck yeah. what you piss off yeah which i would dick cheese like huh <gasps> like no sorry no that was me i'd be like right that's fine you don't want to give me head that you're not fast, getting head then, then that's fine you're yeah. not getting head why is she giving him head multiple times no uh young one wake the fuck up yeah and the mindset he has as well because you're not a virgin anymore. oh my god you're not pure like sorry sorry i hate people like that sorry he se- literally sounds like a what do you think he's got a taste of a man's dick cheese he literally sounds like one of those pedophiles that are auctioning off young girls being like I'm, i want you to buy a virgin oh yeah that's what he sounds like i pay top dollar but for the virgin. thing is he took her virginity originally yeah and then so she so then she slept with someone she's else while they were because yeah. she's tainted now apparently well, his, his but dick he's can be not in the, oh, oh so I, his dick can be I in hate hand. people like that like oh to be honest there's something about it where a man that doesn't like to give head yeah that, that's not right to me that's like red that's flag. greedy that's greedy that's red flag <laughs> yeah very that's like that's literally greedy and Especially she's a giver like, and not to... she's rather give than take yeah well hon then you just haven't you had need to learn how to take no, listen, and keep taking she just hasn't had a good fucking riot no because if you would rather you haven't received yet if you, you haven't received yet that's you... why you don't care about it listen she clearly hasn't hit that top of the mountain yet <laughs> she hasn't reached seven yeah seven <laughs> seven <laughs> like hon that's all i have to say because if yeah. you would rather give then take you haven't received properly don't get me wrong giving can be as rewarding as receiving because but it has to be equal yeah do you know what i mean yeah because that's the build up before you receive <laughs> yeah you know? like really like the whole pro- yeah like hello hello and foreplay is not for everyone some people just don't like foreplay and they're just yeah. like i want to get down to the nitty gritty mm. here like me dinners on the stove <laughs> like the don't get me wrong like every time you have sex it doesn't have to be foreplay you can just yeah. bam bam thank you ma'am like see you next tuesday yeah like but it has to be equal treatment it has to be equal yeah it's called a partnership yeah not a fucking like a one-way street yeah 
like put it this way if you're not getting anything out of any of the actions you are doing partners in the bedroom yeah. what is the point of doing it it's a yeah. mutual pleasure you should be satisfied when it's over if he is not making sure you're satisfied before he is satisfied selfish dump that bitch selfish he's a bitch dump him yeah like honestly if the man is not making sure you are Mm-mm. fully satisfied and pleasured before he is pleasured himself, then there's something fucking wrong in the system. Yeah. Literally. That's just that. But loads of men are like that. Men can be yeah, very, very selfish lovers. Like. Yeah. Dodge them bullets. Yeah, no. Couldn't. No, don't get me wrong. If you're... <laughs> first time version as a boy and it takes two seconds like fair enough like yeah like there's obviously different circumstances difference, like but he's in a, this fella's experienced by the sounds of it yeah he's sleeping around but she's not allowed poxy married a ver- version fucking mary then so like he broke up a horse to go around and get his bit off everyone and then make or break up with this other boy to get back ah that's why i don't yeah. understand people the fellas are like oh can we do anal can we do anal it's like right turn around let me shove a fucking <laughs> shove a fucking dildo up your hole then yeah. and let me see how much yeah can I penetrate you yeah if I can see bend you bend over there here listen if you want to stick something up mine I'll stick something up yours yeah that's the exit only thanks yeah only you <laughs> that's a one way street <laughs> <laughs> yeah but that, that's the escalator doesn't go up it comes in. yeah like, like there's no. no there's no there's no talk about that like there's no but like a man just expect that yeah because it's an extra hole on us like yeah it's like, sorry, do you want to stick in my nostril as well? Yeah. <laughs> like, I have two ears as well, where I? <laughs> oh my God, do you remember that scene from Scary Stop. Movie? <laughs> he's like, oh, do it again, it tickles. <laughs> and then he goes right to you and he's like, Ugh. yeah. Oh, so. I yeah. watched the new Scream last night. <gasps> you watched it without me? When did you want me to watch it, would you? I've been holding off watching No, you have not, oh, you liar. Yeah. What are we going to watch it on? So, we could have <laughs> went to go see it. It's not in the cinema anymore. Ah, that's stupid. That's stupid. Did you see the, the clip they done of scream at the Met Gala someone done like an edit like I don't know what whether it was actually like the scream team like for marketing but it's Jenna I don't know how to pronounce that Ortega yeah it was her like getting paparazzi that the on the carpet in the Met Gala and then it would turn and then scream appeared but you can hear him talking over and it's just like all back and forth and like serious music and it looks so good I'm like whoever's on that marketing team like is needs a rep well the movie was very good was it? it was very good oh, I, I do want to watch it was the last one Really? Mm. Was Courtney Cox in it? Yeah. Oh, she is. Ah! She gets it. Okay. Why are you spoiling that? Or does she? You love spoiling a good movie. Well, it's not. She that she's actually not in that much. Only like in two two scenes. Yeah. She's in one where she like runs up to them and is like Gail Weathers, and then they're like fuck off, Gail. Like you know the show. Yeah. Post. And then she's in oh, another. Do you know what I hate it. though about movies and it's a pet peeve with screen movies? How a character changes by the end of it. Do you know when they do something stupid like that, like her being all for the news, all for this, like and not taking on, and then by the end of it, she's like self aware and everything, and then it's like in the next movie, she's a selfish bitch again. Yeah. What is the point of this character? The whole growth? point to get Weathers is that she gets involved because she wants to sell her book, so she wants the inside scoop. Yeah, but it's like at the end of every movie, she doesn't care about book. The other girl's not in a Sydney. She's yeah, not I'm not surprised. Some, she's like, no, Sydney doesn't need to be involved in this. She's have to move and like we're kids she deserves yeah. a happy ending so it's left to the two sisters and their little group of friends yeah. it's actually very good yeah I, I do want to watch if it if it's on the plane or anything, you should actually watch yeah. it because it's not really scary it's more like just jumpy kind of and more gory oh, wait, and there's like bits on like the New York subway yeah stuff. I've it's seen like the trailers and stuff it does look very, very good. good but um let's go into another one oh me I'm sorry but like me, I'm after been lying on my leg and it has pins and knees I actually can't feel it oh no how many times has that happened to me today Um, but yeah, we'll go into the next one. The next one's not sexual, so if you're in work, it's okay. Oh, um, no sexual healing. <laughs> how do I make others realize they're making bad life decisions and ruining their life? Okay. So lately, a friend of mine has been making a lot of bad decisions. They're acting as if the decision they're making right now won't affect them in the future. What I mean is the person is not some teenager acting out there in their 20s. Although their dream is something big, they always get sidetracked and waste their time, money and even their relationship with their family is being damaged. This person is really close to me and I love them a lot, but they don't like being told about this thing about this thing, and I don't know what to do. Well, like, what's the problem? Like, I don't understand. They don't say. I like, am going. We kind of need more detail. Like, what is the thing that they're fucking yeah. up on? Like, she's getting sidetracked with money and a family. Like, well, then. I guess it's like. See, so they're in their 20s. Maybe. Mm, 
it just says oh we're in our 20s like they're not some like just a teenager anymore i get it like when you're young you have a lot of ambitions and you have big goals but sometimes they just don't work it out in a way and the i 20s think it's, is all for exploring and yeah. fucking up and well like you've st- you're still so young in your 20s yeah but did you ever see that clip i was only actually watching it earlier of judge judy and she's like if you don't make it in your 20s make it in your 20s you don't make it in your 20s yeah make it in your 40s don't make it all the time yeah she's like it's ne- she was like look at how old i was before i made it Judy. that's what i'm saying like she's there's like, so many successful people that you look at now and you're like i want to be like them but then you think you need to be there at like 19 and 20 when yeah. not really like and success looks different to everyone mm, yeah. success could be like i have the best career like i'm at the level of my career i'm content with. yeah or success could be oh i i wanted like fucking kids and i have kids that's mm-hmm. success to me yeah or i don't have kids but like i'm the best dog mom i have a dozen dogs or like or yeah. i'm just fucking content or i have a happy marriage like that's success to me like, like success looks, success yeah. looks different to everyone or i'm just single fucking living me life and i'm fucking riding a new man or woman every week and to me that's what i'm happy with yeah it, i don't think success should be our main drive whatever success means to you in your life i think literally feeling content and happy with your life mm-hmm. no matter what age you're at yeah. like i don't know why like i am like probably like fucking i'm such a hypocrite saying this like because last week i was like i don't want to be 28 yeah don't talk to me i'll murder you yeah like but like now that we're having this conversation if i was giving someone else the advice that i'm not going to mm-hmm. take myself by the way uh i'd be i now i'm about to lose me trying to talk <laughs> <laughs> like literally i had like i had a really good point <sighs> I'll give you a minute so you could you find it i actually had a really good point clearly wasn't that good i can't remember but it was basically me being a hypocrite anyway is it coming to you now no it probably comes to me at the end of the episode okay um but the advice i would give to this person is sometimes you have to let people even though they're close to you and like you love them you do want for them and you want to steer them in the right direction i think you have to let them figure it out on their own you have to leave them let them make bad decisions (laughs) make it don't just be there if they eventually come to you for help you're there for them but you can't spend your life stressing about other people and what they're doing and Mm. they're them not getting to their goals because in their head their goals could be changed could be something different like whether the person wants to allow change yeah like and people are like people need to live through things to grow and learn like you could warn someone about something that's um, coming yeah. if they don't want to take that advice and they want to figure out themselves yeah. they want to figure out themselves you could give someone the best advice in a situation mm-hmm. the best yeah the most logical everyone else who speaks who thinks logically would do it this way or, mm-hmm. or do or take that advice on if they do not take that advice and that does not reflect on you that was just you giving your two cents in on a situation you can't make someone do something that you would do yeah even if it is in your mind the complete right situation yeah or the complete right thing to do or say or help them in a situation if i and you're just shown you're a good friend it's a friend yeah is this a friendship one she's our friend yeah and um, it's only showing you're a good friend if you're willing to give advice because there is friends out there that really don't give a fuck about your life and will just like nod along and be like yeah 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 oh that's you yeah or sometimes you don't want like your friend does not want advice yeah that's the thing like they like when i think back to like some of the advice i got say as a kid even growing up and you you just don't listen like as a teenager or mm-hmm. even in your 20s you're like oh you know best like i know everything about that and it's like oh if i look back and i actually had to listen to that i would have had a different outcome and maybe this would have been different that mm-hmm. would have been different but you need to go through different experiences whether they're good or bad because they only make you as a person like you can always advise her on what you think if you don't yeah. agree with what she's doing or how she's doing it but you can say everything in a nice way and if yeah. she doesn't take that on then that's on her she made her yeah. life choice like you can't control someone yeah because i do get like sometimes being when you're sick of like giving someone the same advice and, and they never listen to you it. uh if it's been multiple times where they come to you and ask for advice and you give them the advice that you would do and you're giving them genuine honest advice after a while you just need to turn on either the listening ears and just kind of and just agree with them just agree with them just listen there and then when they finally realize it then that'll happen because sometimes you can drain yourself as well by taking on other people's stresses and stuff but yeah there's a new phone um but also don't sound like a broken record some people take advantage of people like yeah. that so 
yeah true next one um how do i tell my ma that my brother is moving to canada in a matter of days so matter of day is, yeah <laughs> sounds like your shit's creek well paddling that's not your problem um so some contacts my brother is 29 and he's moving to canada with his girlfriend he and my ma haven't spoken in over a year for some private matters when he first said he was moving he said he would call her and tell her that he was moving but now um due to reasons i cannot fathom he doesn't want to tell her how do i even begin to tell her now that it seems to be my problem um it's not your problem I can understand if you don't want to listen to the because it's like yeah. you still talk to your man and you know information about your brother, and then your ma's going to be like, "Well, you knew and you didn't tell me." Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's a it's a bit of a tough one. Like it's like not yeah, really you probably problem. should ask the brother. Like, are you telling ma yes or no? And he's like, no, I'm not bothered. I don't care. Just be like, right. Well, then can I just tell her so then she doesn't think like I'm keeping information for her because I feel like I'm a, it, between a rock and a hard place yeah and then if she he's like yeah i don't care if you tell her then just say oh ma i just hear like my brother whoever he is like is moving to canada in a few days at least that way you don't have the guilt of knowing where your brother is in a different country in the world and yeah. your man's like have to been in oh, in the God. dark i think it'd be harder knowing that you're keeping information from your own ma than yeah. it is like your brother just not manning the fuck up and even sending her a text to tell her like but then again obviously i don't know what the personal situation yeah. is but like to be honest not your monkey not your circus like their issue is nothing to do with you if you're still about talking to them yeah, and you exactly. know information so if you say it like it's not your like you're just having a conversation yeah. unless he said don't tell ma yeah that's different then that's kind of hard because mm-hmm. how are you supposed you're left in the country which i'm at if you're living with your ma and you're supposed to hold yeah. this big huge life change that's have to happen in our brother's life and not yeah, saying it's a big thing hmm. do you know what i mean yeah my head's just going like why are they not talking like is the ma a bit of a cunt and the the person writing i don't know whether it's another brother or like a sister or whatever um is like just p- kind of putting up with the man they don't want to listen to the headache of being like oh they're moving away and this this and that you know i mean like if i the think they're gonna get that anyway yeah if I think the so brother too. Set, tells her or if she tells her she's gonna mm-hmm. get it yeah like that's a bit of a tough place for your brother actually to be leaving you with to yeah. be honest i just i'd say i'd say to the brother straight like i'm if you're not telling my like i'm gonna tell her because yeah or if you, you should just be like are you telling ma yes i know yeah if he's like oh yeah i'm gonna tell her i'm gonna tell her and still doesn't tell her yeah true he's like are you telling her yes i know because like i still have to live with her yeah like he just has to give her a text and be like i know we haven't talked whatever well, I just the want reason to let you know i'm yeah, moving can. yeah like oh madness people make such like such make their life so hard i know um someone just wrote is an eight year age gap too old um, oh, and they said, boy 20, girl 28. Boy 20. Mm-hmm. So the girl's eight years older than the boy. Um, It's not. Like, I don't think that's an issue. They're both in their 20s. But it's like if you want someone who, ha- like a boy that age that hasn't gone through the, their full 20s of experimenting mm. in their 20s, just in life, like not even yeah. sexually just like living their life in their 20s and you have to remember boys are a lot more immature than women yeah like they're a lot mentally more immature than women so if you're going for someone eight years younger then you're like go get a jet set but like i don't yeah. see it as an icky thing i'm a bit weird when it comes to age gaps if he like, was a teenager and she was in her 20s yeah but he was a teenager like, like he's tw- he's for all we know he's a couple of days out of being a teenager We'll be, but, that would be like us getting with someone who's a student in Ryerson. Yeah. More, we're, actually, it's like me. I'm I'm going 28. You're literally just yeah. college students that are 25. Like, no, but like what I mean is, I'm I'm all for not all for an age gap, but like I think it always depends on where you are. Like I think, and I couldn't say, oh yeah, an age, eight year age gap's fine. I would be like maybe 25 and like 23. Whereas That's, I'm yeah. like I know it's still eight years, but I think at twenty five, like the youngest person being twenty five, like me now, let's say I'm texting you and I'm like, oh, I'm actually seeing like a twelve year old. I think that's w- less weird than twenty and twenty eight. I know it's still eight years, but I think you're at different parts of your life. Yeah, but you can't control that about someone. 
like they're just talking about the age like the actual age like yeah but that's what i'm like, saying i think it's a bit icky if i was that girl's do- that girl's mother who's 28 she was like oh man like i'm dating a 20 year old i wouldn't be like hey you sick bitch i wouldn't be like that i'd be like mm. all right he's in his 20s like he's not He's an he's adult. He's only can make... in his twenties, and you're nearly in your forties. Well, technically, an Irish thing. You're an adult since you're eighteen. Well, yeah, but that doesn't mean that, and you're Do still you know what a I mean? And child. over here, you're technically, a drink from your nineteen, so you're actually an adult. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you really are. Like... I don't see an issue with it because you're both in your twenties. Yeah. I think if he was a teenager, I'd kind of be like, oh, that's a bit. Like even if she was twenty five and he was like seventeen or whatever, like that's like no, like he's a fucking teenager. If but that's the both. same amount of eight that's eight but years but then you just said 25 and 33 yeah but this is what i'm saying but that's it's me, a is different worse. like yeah so but i said so we kind of think the same but i still feel weird about 20 and 28 it does like it wouldn't ick me out to be honest with you i've heard just, of worse age gaps yeah like, if you were in your 20 and he was in his 40s oh yeah she, that's obviously that's even, like ugh. yeah it's eight years like fuck it you are teenagers you are both and you are 20s like it's not yeah. as if you are both in different decades you are definitely both in different stages like, or you might not be she just might not be in that stage like that she's career driven or whatever she might still be figuring shit out like he's yeah. figuring shit out but I like I don't I, I don't know like it depends on the fella as well depends it how does, mentally yeah. mature he is and stuff like does that it, yeah but if it's just merely on us not knowing who either is rather it's the girl or the boy it doesn't matter it's if you're asking us genuinely on an eight year age gap where both parties are in their 20s i don't see an issue like if, if it was my son or daughter that came home was like i'm dating a 20 year old or i'm 20 and i'm dating a 28 year old i wouldn't be well if i was 20 mm. and he was dating a 20 like if your if your son came in it's like oh i'm seeing a girl and you're like oh where's my hair and he's like and he's oh 20. she's 28 yeah i'd be i that wouldn't bother me really yeah because i know he's in his 20s it doesn't bother me i can't say that i can't do that yeah. no if she came home and she he was like oh she's 30 something i think the word 30 and he's 20 would kind of be like oh there's a 10 plus year age gap yeah but if i know my son and i knew he was kind of mature like he was never like immature yeah. and stupid boy like there is boys out there that are actually raised smart like and aren't stupid yeah i don't know um no that doesn't bother me eight years if he's a boat in his 20s like or if he's a boat in his 30s or he's boat in his 40s oh like yeah. some stage one years are gonna be in your 30s one years are gonna be in your 20s yeah when he's 22 she'd be 30 do you know what i mean like doesn't bother me no if you're yeah. happy go for it like who gives a fuck really i don't give a bollocks yeah if he's about happy and he's, it's healthy and it's not toxic and there's there's worse age gaps so oh there definitely is like it's definitely not the worst yeah no if I'm he was just in high school w- ugh, i'd be like no no, no no if you said 19 and 27 or 18 and 26 See, there's yeah. something about the teen the teen yeah. that just yeah knocks it no 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 i don't think there should be allowed any age gap like above three four years if you're still a teenager yeah cause if you're a teenager yeah. like three year max yeah because that's just weird yeah like you have to remember i was doing my junior sir i'm as soon as leaving <laughs> mm. yeah, that's only two years well i done transition year so oh oh then that's even less what's that two years in age but like uh, three years yeah that's still, a, yeah because yeah. i done transition year if i didn't do transition yeah year, yeah years. like well, he was in college and i was in 40 <laughs> <That's laughs> yeah yeah well I but like your age year. your age is like that's where your age comes into that's like yeah that's grand yeah. but like yeah but i, I just don't know doesn't no, it's like what do you have in common i don't know i think it's only lately i've started to get really weirded out by age gaps but yeah i fancy so many older men yeah <laughs> like jemmy so it is a double edged sword where i'm like it's only when i think about how young i like when i look back at me at 20 i'm like oh my god like i was actually a baby i think that's the, the more mm. i think about it because like, i've really realized i was like oh, i'm gonna so young then and i felt like so old no tell me that and i knew everything and I'm, that's all i think of, of it now. just reminds me of the episode of friends where Monica's dating. Yeah. And yeah. she finds out he's in high school. Oh, I thought you were talking about Richard. No, well, that as Richard well. as well. But like, it's like the one where Monica is yeah, sleeping with yeah. the, And he tells her he's in high school. Yeah. Like that she wasn't 25. She was actually 27. And he was like, oh, I'm a senior in high school. Yeah. And then the one where Rachel's dating the college fella. And he's like, right on. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like, I mean, it's not the and end of the And then Ross dating like, a student. Yeah, Jesus. and they're that slagging on terrible. Like, are slagging me like, oh, did she? Did you get a babysitter for the night? Yeah. 
yeah so when you think yeah about it, way, it's, like, it's really it's really not the worst age gap either like it's not no, i'm no. just a bit worried sometimes it'd be just like if he's wearing both and he's at 20 and he's are starting dating now i think if you started dating yeah. and he was still a teenager and you are in your 20s that's like icky yeah um because teen remember yeah 18 he's still there a teen was, there was one here that goes good with this one um that i want to try and find i saw it earlier oh here right <laughs> my secondary school teacher asked me to go for a drink after my 24th birthday and um, so i recently turned 21 and posted a few photos on insta after posting one of my teachers he's in his late 40s um from school message me his first message said happy birthday now we can drink together at first i thought he was messing so i laughed at the response but throughout very minimal conversation i got messages like time to get crazy laughing face hang out with me sometime and pick a day i didn't realize how weird and creepy it was until i showed a few friends the conversation and they were all shocked Ooh, I'm getting no, no 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 um i didn't think anything bad at force he was always so nice to me and everyone else in school um was always one of the nicest te- teachers and treated like students like family now i'm not sure how to go forward do i just block him do i say something am i making a big deal out of a nice gesture? i really appreciate your help and your perspective no fucking no that's creepy that's just no i'm not even like i don't even need to explain don't even need to explain you already get the ick it's a fucking ick no yeah no 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 do you know there was two teachers in my school that one was it one was a student and one was the teacher and when she left school they got married and the, the two teachers worked in the school together oh one was my music teacher and the other one was the math teacher so she was his student and then when she graduated they got with each other oh my god yeah i think that's just weird yeah it's just weird 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 and creepy and that like the creepiest thing is like is i'm assuming that actually this girl lives in america when she's turned 21 and she's like oh we can drink together now stop no the answer is fucking um, no just no yeah i I'd, I'd just block i'd block them block it's, them. it's a teacher report an old teacher them. creep it's, yeah report them if he's grooming her that's what i'm saying it's imagine like, how yeah. he's looking at the other girl yeah. she's like no that's fucking not right that's not right it's disgusting think he could be taking advantage of like like other girls in that school that he's teaching in and they're being groomed and they don't even know do you know what i mean yeah no that's not right oh the other uh, i'm uh, just feeling i actually don't know if it was i just uh uh, in american person because he said secondary school um the eight year age gap sounds like nothing now i know (laughs) when you think of fucking 20 something used to be a teacher imagine one of your teachers texting you yeah no ask me for a drink yeah hang on we go to the local pub with me poxy old maths teacher (laughs) are you are you joking yeah tally up that bill there drinks for a new one yeah like yeah, sorry, you failed me. What you mean? Yeah, now you get. You could ask pu- me for a drink. Then. Yeah, get your fucking pie chart out now. Oh, pie ball, eh? No. Oh, that makes it creepy, old man. Are disgusting. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, that gives me the shivers. But anyways, let's move on. Um, oh, this is a good one. I don't know if we'll be able to give you any advice, though, because we're the worst people for this. How do I stop panicking about growing up? i turned 20 a few months ago and i've just been feeling so depressed about everything i wish i had more friends and went out more etc people say you're just 20 but doesn't really reassure me she's only gone 20 she just turned 20 Hun, stop ago. fucking sweating stop sweating stop sweating because it, that, that feeling never goes away <laughs> it doesn't it gets worse as injuries. you get older it really does get worse yeah. it's all the shoulda woulda could is when i was younger oh shoulda woulda coulda and like i said in one of the episodes yeah. shoulda woulda coulda means you're out of time if you start yeah. doing shoulda woulda could is means you, you just ran out of time but that's life everyone in their 40s thinks oh i shoulda woulda coulda done this in my 20s oh everyone in the 40s been like oh, i shoulda woulda coulda did this in my 40s you only have so much time and you'll never as much as you want to get everything done mm-hmm. in the time you want it yeah if we didn't all have adult responsibility they need money you need to pay rent need to pay bills we'd live the best lives that we could if money was not an option yeah but time it just keeps going so any free time you have do things you want to do if you want it like it doesn't even have to be big things like mm-hmm. 
like honestly it doesn't like if it wants to be like oh well you know what like next week i'm gonna go i'm gonna make sure i go to that coffee shop to get that coffee because i really want to go like life's not all about the big things in life it really isn't no no job is that big Mm -hmm. no fucking like nothing is that big your health is your most important thing in life yeah you have your health you can anything everything else on the backward because the one day you don't have your health is when you realize everything else means didn't matter fuck all like sweet yeah. fuck all nothing else matters and anyone who does have bad health will understand that yeah they're like you think you got problems i got 99 problems yeah me health is one <laughs> what i would say is to cut like i feel like, like what Nia have said daffy doesn't really go away you're always kind of like oh my god i'm getting another year older i'm not where i want to be blah blah because you have such expectations that you're going to do all these things mm-hmm. when just leaving school like you're going to go to college get that job meet that boyfriend whatever get married sail off into the sun by fucking 28 40 but it doesn't work like that but i'd say for they said like they don't have many friends and they go with that much i think the best thing to do is find a hobby or something that you really like whether it's art whether it's fitness whether it's sewing and see if there's any classes in your area whether it's going to a public class like you might be riddled with anxiety doing it but it's the best thing to do to meet other people that'll be probably interested in the same thing like if you like art see if there are any local art classes on or yeah art like that or just go to museums and it's about yeah really have to put yourself out there you really like, do you really do and I as comfortable so. as it feels you have to do it i think like she says she wants more friends like like so she said because i like, put it this way i think when you stay in your hometown it's very hard like to meet new people yeah like because there's no one you can really relate to it's like we moved away so we had to push ourselves yeah. out there to meet new people because everyone is in the same boat mm-hmm. like everyone has yeah, no one yeah do you know that kind yeah. of way so you kind of find connections that way yeah so she said um I turned 20 a couple of months ago and I've recently been so depressed. I'm uh, feeling so depressed about everything. I wish I had more friends or went out more, etc. Oh. People just say you're just 20, but that doesn't really show me. So obviously it's like, oh, you're only 20. Like, you'll figure it's not, it out. That's not going to change no. how you feel. You need to, you need to action it and change it. You need to, the friends you have, you need to reach out to them, whether it's going for a coffee, going for a walk, just the little things and kind of put yourself out there more. If they're not really giving back to you, given into the friendship you'll need to try and make new friends which it is kind of hard when you're at that age like whether you're if you're in college at 20 you might find some people there they might not even necessarily be in your course just take up extra stuff like if you're into i don't know like football i actually just kind of assumed this was a girl i don't know why but um if you're into football sports right like join teams join classes do yeah. group fitness classes like and if you're awkward like me and Eve, you just kind of have to push yourself out of that comfort zone and do things like really reach out to people like because they could be feeling the same way as well yeah you exactly. never know mm-hmm. but yeah but be safe if you do go to oh yeah please be cautious people. and always but that feeling on. of like i'm not doing enough when i'm 20 like that's gonna carry that's just that's just life unfortunately. yeah that's just, adult, so that's just adulthood pra- yeah it is like you can't shake that feeling like there's like my friends like buying houses mm-hmm. like having kids and i'm just over here like me and my partner my yeah. best friend and my dog <laughs> living yeah. it all up in canada but like not everyone's life is the same everyone's on a different time frame everyone is on different like priorities and what they want in life not everyone has to go for the traditional life yeah and everyone I fucking beat your own drum as well there's no time limit on anything no do you know what i mean do anything when you're ready to do it and just fucking enjoy life do you know what i mean yeah. I literally need to like convince myself because obviously I am dread. I don't know why I'm dreading 28. I have actually never dreaded an age so really? much. I don't like birthdays as it is. Mm-hmm. I just never have like been a big fan yeah. of it. But the year rolls around, you get on with it. Yeah, it's it's a day. It's like a, yeah, it's here and gone. 28. I don't know. It's just a different feeling. It's yeah. it's it's like it's like the pin in you're in your late 20s yeah you're not a kid anymore yeah it's like now kids come to you because you're an adult like you're the adult in the situation like you're in your late 20s and that's where i'm like oh my god i'm approaching finishing my 20s i cannot physically like remember half of my 20s like did i do enough yeah like i'm hitting like i'm still in the brain of me 16 year old self yeah 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 how am i on the train to 40 
Like I'm closer to 30 than I was 20 And I'm like that the last two years Nearly three years yeah. But there's something about 28 That just puts the fucking shits up me Differently Different do than other think, birthdays Do you think it's because Aaron's gone 30 That you're noticing your birthday more because he's changing like ex- into the But I'm 40. excited for him to go 40. I keep saying to him, this is a new chapter. Like, it's, yeah. But for me, I'm like, oh no, bitch, I don't edge. Like, yeah. No, but no, do you no. think it's that realizing that he's like, because 40 is a big birthday, mm-hmm. but do you think it's subconsciously actually that? that? And I also think it's because, like, I planned to be well further ahead in life than I yeah. am. Like, I always, I always told Aaron, like, well, I have a checklist and once i get through this checklist i'll be happy yeah but i threw that checklist out the fucking window when we moved to canada because everything is like a deck of cards gets fucked up in yeah. the air then. like i got the boyfriend i got the ring moved then everything just kind of went silent yeah covid happens uh, the train stopped fucking trucking down the tracks like <laughs> but everyone else lives at home have been trucking along and moving and they've been doing so I don't know if it's if it's a matter of seeing how far other people are in life. Like people like I'm when I go home I have so many babies to me. Yeah. Like there's people putting deposits down for weddings. Like there's yeah. everyone's life seems to be moving so much faster. And they are that bit older, like Yeah. Like not not all of them, but some of them are torty. I've I've just gone like went torty last year. And I'm like, oh where am I? Like I yeah. feel like I'm still in the same spot I was a few years ago yeah and like that's like that's just life like you can't we are in a completely different situation we don't have help over here we are paying rent we yeah like there's different situations you know what i mean um there's a lot of factors have to take but yeah there's something about 28 28. like literally if i could like get a train somewhere on the 29th and not come back till like the 30th uh like i was literally saying to amy like don't call me don't text me don't ring me don't knock at me door you will not see me on my birthday like I literally said to Aaron, I'm not. He was like, he was like, what you want to do for your birthday? Like, what do you want? I was like, no, yeah. my birthday, not happening. No, I don't either. have a birthday this year. I don't say. Yeah, this is a leap year. But you know what's funny? I wonder if a lot of people were like this because of COVID. So because I felt like that about twenty five. I think it's also because I feel like I missed out on two years. Yeah, it's like because what I was thinking about like as much as like I don't I'm the same I don't really care about bitches I don't really care about age and I'll be like dramatic sometimes like oh my god 25 or whatever like I'll just say it I know when you were saying that this year, I was like do you um, fuck off but, uh, <laughs> but then it was more like when I'm thinking about like when I came here I was 21 like it was mm. I I had my 21st in March and like went to Disneyland with Kate and done like a little trip to Paris and then I had like stuff going on in the summer and then I was moving here in the August and I was just turned 21 and then it's like now I've turned 25 and I've seen as far as Montreal Mm -hmm. do you know what I mean like where I was thinking that where in my head when I was moving to Canada moving to Toronto I was like oh I'm gonna go to Vancouver I'm gonna see these parts of Canada then I don't tell you how expensive it is to travel within Canada within Canada yeah and it's like oh I'll I'll have gone to New York and like I had New York booked and like literally a few weeks later then I was like COVID so it's like I think we put a lot of pressure on ourselves as well, but not realizing some of the situations we went through. Like even looking back on COVID, it's like that was two years of our life. We really couldn't do that. You were lucky to keep your mm-hmm. job. You were holding on to your life. There was no progression because no one, like everyone was walking on eggshells, whether they were keeping their job, they didn't have a job, they had to yeah. work from home. Like life changed for two years. And now it's, I think this year, I really noticed it's like back on the hustle, back on the fast pace back mm-hmm. like having totally different avenues of money and all like seeing all that on social media and it's like very 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 overwhelming yeah like completely no it is 100 percent it is but i don't think that that like some people just don't have they don't care about aging and i think i i don't know i don't want to say it's like men age more easily than women women are always taking 10 steps yeah. ahead a man will think about later that day. Yeah, I think men don't think too much. different expectations, yeah. though, as well. Like because women are on yeah. a biological clock. Yeah, true. If that is something, if you want kids, mm-hmm. women are technically on a biological yeah. clock. Which <laughs> I'm at the stage now. I technically need to be thinking, yeah. what the fuck are we as a part as as a couple? Mm-hmm. What are we doing? 
like yeah. we need to start planning like Aaron's going into his 30s yeah I'm a pro like my next big birthday is is 30 mm. are we saving for a house in Canada probably not possible are we having a kid are we going to ha- get married before we have a kid are we having a kid before we get married are we going to have a house before we have a kid before we get married see you don't know <laughs> you spoke so fast <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I'm going to be fun on this clip <laughs> wait nobody's getting a clip of this if you're listening all Eminem who Eminem who yeah. can um, the real slim shady please stand up <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah but I think that's that's well, you, 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 put it this way you're only 20 you're, the world is right now your right so you can make the own, your own path as much as you want yeah. to and enjoy it but something was on TikTok before and they were like you should never you should never dread aging as aging is a privilege that most yeah. people don't get that's and I remember one. being like oh my god that's so true like not everybody makes it to 40 yeah like it's literally a yeah. privilege to get another year older and that's where as much as you say it, it will like it never takes that it, yeah. it's like it's like it's two separate things like oh my god I'm so grateful yeah I'm have to get in this far like that I'm gone 20 mm-hmm. but then on the other hand you're think it's it's like an obviously clusterfuck on the other side yeah. of your head like oh I'm an adult like everyone around us has kids and has like is is so progressing even people younger than us i feel like mm-hmm. are like overtaking us yeah but i'm beating to my own drum as well like i decided to move away i decided to live a different life like yeah. i didn't move away to, to, to yeah. not like not to not have kids like but it's very aaron she says like if we still set at home we'd have kids by now yeah and 100 percent because I, that'd be the next step kind oh, of like, like oh what else are we gonna do yeah well a, a like 100 percent, and we'd have how many people to help us with a kit yeah well it's very different and i remember people saying the last time i was home, oh like he's gonna have kids and i yeah. was like well it's very easy for anyone here who uh, who both of our families live here to mm-hmm. say oh when he's having kids who's shipping the fuck back over to canada with canada with us to help out yeah it's like <laughs> yeah no, it yeah is. we have it's friends totally here life. or whatever like and that's great but that's not their problem yeah I didn't I'm not going to bring a child or a dog or anything into like into my life that's I'm going to make someone else's problem yeah. obviously friends help friends and everyone helps each mm-hmm. other out and like that's how Canada is good when you're making connections over yeah. here yeah because you do want to help each other yeah. out because you all are kind of don't have family boat, here like, like yeah. do you know what I mean like you're going to help each other out when you can but it's not that's not what you sign up for you don't sign anyone up to mind your child yeah if you're bringing a child into the world that's your fucking child it's your, exactly it's your problem like yeah but back that's just me on a tangent here but back to the agent thing you're 20 you can literally write your own path now like I'm not gonna say yeah it's you're only 20 but you're only 20 <laughs> yeah like you're at the beginning of like the most experimental years where you can fuck up make mistakes take risks mm-hmm. and you're only in your 20s like you I yeah. think if you are still being a fuck up and you're in your 30s I'll be like right well you need to leave the kind of Tra- 20s are your transitional years of when you could be a fuck up and like just do whatever the yeah. fuck you want more like is almost training you to be the proper adult in your 30s yeah true. i think 20 is like the teaching years yeah where everyone thinks they need to have their life together and really but you're think, figuring out what life is do you think here's a question for you do you actually think emo- emotions in your 20s were a lot more difficult than in your teenage years Uh, like more situations with more difficult emotions and that you had to kind of navigate your own emotions a bit more i found that in my 20s and i don't know if it's because i lived away that when someone pissed me off or i wasn't happy with a situation at home i had to learn how to regulate my emotions and be like not my monkey not my circus yeah and different emotions i found my 20s a lot more i was learning about how to handle different emotions yeah. than i was in my teenage years yeah oh definitely like compared to like teenagers yeah like i mean and as teenagers well teenagers like, were walking the yeah. fucking park yeah because then when i te- like when i think back of it like i so i came here and i turned 21 in the march and then a year later when i was turning 20 to 22 like i had my 22nd birthday in a pandemic and spent like 22 till 24 or almost 25 alone in a sense like at home you can't go out there you can't do that and so it was just so much thinking you too mm-hmm. many times like too long with your own thoughts where you realize a lot of stuff and i feel like 
I matured a little bit when I think about saying things like how I react to something now is completely different to how I would have reacted at 20 or even 21 because you had mm-hmm. so much time to just sit and process things and even think about stuff from years ago and realise stuff and like basically grow like yeah we actually I'm only saying that now realising that now that we both had big events when we were 22 like you moved here and had your 22nd birthday in a pandemic yeah and I got engaged when I was 22 yeah oh yeah big girls big big girls which everyone was like oh my god you're so young like I'm waiting but then when you're 23 24 you're like are you having kids yeah do you know what I mean like it's it, it, the transition well where you're from to, if, you're, trans- if, yeah. if when we're from if you're still a teenager and haven't had a kid you're like yeah, yeah the kids. transition from oh my god she's so young having a baby and being engaged to are you not having kids yet it's like a year <laughs> it's crazy but I will move on to the next one because we went on a bit oh more yeah random. sorry yeah um, this one right <sighs> I'm already annoyed at this one but anyways need help girls one of my boyfriend's friends is cheating on his long-term girlfriend and all his friends and their girlfriends know but no one has told her i don't know her that well my boyfriend just told me when he found out as a girl's girl what do i do sticky situation as i don't want my boyfriend to lose his friends because because he told me and i haven't actually seen anything or been told from the source <sighs> not my monkey not my face yeah like as a girl's girl obviously i know i'm a girl's girl i'd want to tell her yeah but then again if you don't have if it's like i i heard it through the grapevine you don't have anything solid to go off technically only that your fella told you like if if your fella hasn't witnessed his fella with this girl then there's not really much to go off like yeah. like if you tell her and you don't have solid proof or like solid at you could literally ruin a relationship like and like to be honest it could fucking swing back at you if you tell her and she's like well it's nothing to fucking do with you yeah it's it's always she a doesn't tricky, believe it. it's always a tricky situation with stuff like this because how you react could be totally different to how the girl in the situation react like mm-hmm. i know 100 percent. i'd want to know oh yeah and so I. I know i wouldn't really blame anyone else i'd feel like a bit of a dope if i knew loads of people i hung around with kind yeah. of knew like them with our girls and their boyfriends but why haven't they friends. told her it's like they should have told her if they know her more and stuff yeah um especially if they're in social situations yeah. obviously they know yeah so it's like it's hard but i feel like it'd be different like if i found out about that say like Niamh, totally different like i would tell her straight away oh I'd, absolutely because if i even got sniffed that you knew about yeah something, I found out, i'd like i would be done Aaron would already be black and blue before I even told you. Like, <laughs> but like that's different because we're like best friends, and I'd like. But when you don't know something that well, and you only know the situation, like you're basically hearing like secondhand information, yeah. and your boyfriends are telling you, and then you're thinking about right if I if I just go and tell her this, and then it's like well all, they're probably not good friends if they're all cheating on their girlfriends. Anyways, but yeah the boyfriend loses that friend group and it just it puts him in an awkward situation as well yeah and exactly. then for for what then um, for the girl to probably turn around and be like mm, i kind of know or i'll take him back or whatever or to go yeah. mad at you because some people as much as we'd be like we'd be like thanks so much for telling me and we'd go mad at the boyfriend I'd some, like some girls blame now. blame the girls or blame everyone else but the other person because they're blind yeah. to uh, like love bombed whatever he could swindle his way over whatever it is like tell him it's not that serious but yeah it's a bit of a hard situation girls just never trust your man 100 percent. there's always yeah. that 0.01 percent, and i'll tell you especially that especially if day. he's always out with other people and stuff i just i'd, I, I'd always be very wary mm-hmm. especially if i was never out with them or stuff like if they all know that i wonder they bring in like the other girlfriend around the like not other girlfriend but the other girl like is he just cheat? I'd love to know. If, is he just cheating? Like seeing like if they're on nights out, is he randomly te- like texting other girls, seeing other girls, or is he full on seeing someone else? Like in all the other group now. It just it's doesn't oh. sit right if me fella is always out, even if I'm always busy. If he's yeah. just always out. Yeah, no. Like, there's a reason why they're always out. Yeah. Like to be honest, like what I said before, you can never trust someone a hundred percent. No. And I'll say this to anyone. Yeah. Even if people don't agree with me, you're telling me you're engaged to someone you don't trust them 100%. I trust Aaron. 99.9999999999%. Do I trust anyone 100%? Absolutely fucking not. Yeah. 
And I don't care if I sound like suspicious or sketchy. You, anyone can fuck you over. Yeah. Your own parents can fuck you over. Yeah, pretty much. So what makes you think this, this fella, just because you're in a long-term relationship with him, isn't fucking you over? Yeah. You just need to have eyes at the back know. of your head. Always, do you know what you should like do? He's kind always, of been open about it. Always have some sort of suspicion with your fella. Yeah. Always. Always. I, but I don't yeah. mean be psycho, bitch. No. Unless you have a reason to be psycho, bitch. Mm. But if you ask for his phone and he doesn't give you his phone, red fucking alert. Yeah. Red fucking yeah. alert. Or if you're never invited, like, like from the message I'm getting, there's obviously like a group that kind of go out together. But obviously the that girlfriend has to be kind of excluded some of the times mm-hmm. because how does everyone in the group know that he's cheating or is he just bringing it around to free gaps when yeah. he's up in the gap with the boys like and then he invites a girl up is he cheating yeah. on them in the other friends gaps yeah like or is it just all oh, the boys knew and then the boys end up telling their girlfriends like same way and then the girlfriends aren't saying that and so they're yeah. really friends if they are friends with her yeah. around her well they're just not girls girls then no because if i got sniffling 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 if i got a sniffle that one of my friends his fellas were cheating on them I've, i'm yeah. a girl's girl i've no loyalty to the fella no Especially if I was there and seeing something, I'd be straight on, straight on. Ah, uh, no. Oh, no. It's just a hot, uh, yeah, that's a bit of a sticky situation. That's a sticky situation. Start going out with your boyfriend more and see do you catch him. <laughs> then you can say something. <laughs> like, Joe, if you actually see her witnessing, be like, oh, are you not with someone anymore? Like, what? Who are you? Just, just randomly ask, can I look at your phone? Yeah. Don't make it think that you think he's cheating. Well, no, the girl writing the question obviously isn't oh yeah like yeah. isn't but I'm just saying yeah. anyone in a relationship if Aaron turned to me and was like can I have your phone I'd be like yeah here yeah and if I've done that to him plenty not thinking he was cheating if yeah I like phone, using his phone for something like oh can I yeah. he's never like why do you want why do you want me phone yeah why do you need me phone yeah test oh, unless test now, for the girls there or ask, your, like, ask your boyfriend or your even for the boys ask, just ask your significant other boyfriends girlfriends whatever can you can you use their phone potential phone's gone dead need to ring my ma need to ring someone need to ring my friend mm-hmm. let's order food can i have a shot your phone yeah see, fa- just see how they react you I don't even have to look at them probably using fucking disappearing messages and all of them but, yeah or if, snapchat, oh. if, your, if your boyfriend has snapchat red flag if he has a work phone check his work phone oh that's a good one the work phone yeah. <gasps> running up company time because you're never gonna think out in a bit of work phone yeah oh that's just his work phone like why would he you wouldn't yeah that's, that that's a couple of emails that's that's the team's message yeah, check the, all yeah. the work phone. Or he's WhatsApp on our office. She's like, that work phone's early. Think about getting one of them. <laughs> like, yeah. Because the, the biggest tell is whether, how they react to just asking. You don't even have to look through WhatsApp, look through one. If they question why you want their phone, red flag, I think, anyways. Mm. Like, they can be like, oh, what's wrong with yours? Like, cause it, like if it's out of the balloon, you're like, oh, can I use your phone for a second? And they're like, where's yours? And then you were like, oh, it's dead or it's something. And then oh, you go, and then you go here. Like, that's fine. Like, cause I just kind of like, mm, what's wrong with your own phone? Or you phone? just say, no, I can't find my phone from ringing it. Yeah. <gasps> that's a good one. Or if they're like, oh, ring a friend, I'd be like, I'm an adult. I can ring me on phone. Yeah. Yeah. You need to catch you when they're doing something while they're in the fridge, getting the milk. Or like, yeah. Or they're cooking something or they're both yeah. hands are busy. Like they're emptying the dishwasher. Yeah. Go in and throw your phone under the pillow, walk around and then like look around and then Put while the, while they're mixing the sauce there, like, be like, oh, where's your phone? And they're like, oh. Or and then if you do think you see something you run to the bathroom lock the door and you fucking scour that phone but yeah. make sure your phone is on you so you send screen grabs from his phone to your phone yeah so you have proof so he can't delete yeah and then delete the messages that he sent you it, yeah if, like if your boyfriend's in shower and you leave his phone there and you do or in the middle of the night and you're doing the face unlock just make sure aunt you sent to you you then delete it so it looks like they didn't send it to yourself yeah actually just do it when he's asleep yeah unless he sleeps his phone under his pillow that's sketch to me yeah yeah <gasps> yeah or if he just randomly leaves the apartment being like, oh, I'm going up to my friend's house and it's just random, like up and go. Yeah, no, that's like, sketch. She's have to pull him up both sides. Oh, yeah. And we keep saying he and she because of the text message, but like this it also be, goes could to... could be obviously like she could be... Yeah, cheating, like, but like just anyone listening that's in the situation, if like you think you're something or others cheating on you, like if you're a guy listening to this or whatever, a girl and your girlfriend's cheating on you, like walks both ways, like Tessu. I couldn't yeah. do with a cheater. Would you get back with a cheater? Depends what type of cheating. Yeah. If it's an affair, like a full blown fucking like affair. other relationship, like more than fucking once, like he keeps yeah, going like out to the person, or like, like fucking constantly 
like ripping me off on multiple occasions yeah if it's a drunken like i'm saying this now like what happens to me i probably wouldn't take the person back like but if it's like a fucking drunk one night and they come and tell me asap like, like aaron comes like, in crying saturday and night and like, like i'm about to kiss some girl i fucked up tonight or i fucked up last night like i kissed someone else when i was in my face locked would i hit the roof oh. absolutely yeah. but would i say i throw 12 years away because he's if he was with if he knew what he did wrong and he came to me and told me it's very different than him doing it keeping it from me and me finding out himself yeah because that's like you weren't fucking up front yeah but if it's like he was cheating on me and going out yeah and just not like constant just being, every, every time you're not there like just being fucking sloppy like yeah to the point where it's almost like i kind of wanted you to catch me yeah i wanted you to catch me so i could get out kind of yeah that's different mm. but i'm saying that now if i haven't done, cheated on me once i'll probably be like pack your fucking bags like get the fuck yeah because at the end of the day you deciding to, you deciding to leave them's not thrown away them deciding to kiss someone well like drunk or not them doing that has fucked up to 12 years not necessarily yeah. you deciding right i don't want to be and if you both i don't know how i could trust my I, i'd be too paranoid i'd probably would well, give it another go after it if it was I'd a long-term like, relationship this is going to be no walk in the park like no. you have to prove to me no. if you have to grovel for the next five yeah. years for me to trust you again yeah I, but that it always be that, in the back of your head but it is, like, that's up. what you never 100 percent trust yeah. in so if you get slapped that slap does not sting as hard yeah. because you are dead fucking wide yeah nothing. but the betray the pain of the betrayal will always be there doesn't yeah. matter how much you trust someone not trust someone yeah do you know what i mean yeah because i think if i was with someone a year or less and they done it once i I'd, I'd cut it off there do you know what but I mean? then again if you gave them another chance what would happen then if you gave them another chance and they were the best boyfriend in the world and you're gonna get married and having kids that's a, a I missed think opportunity it just, i think it also depends on how good of a boyfriend they were before they fucked up and how mm-hmm. they went about it if you have to i just think if you have to find out they cheated yeah. like it's it's i think it just looks so much worse if they don't come to you and be like i fucked up yeah if you leave it a week two weeks three weeks and and you still haven't told me yeah i'd let the cunt sweat if i found out when he hadn't told me i'd let the cunt sweat yeah. you don't get oh, mad you I'd get fucking so even broken. you get even see all his jocks <laughs> all hold <laughs> what's happening are they getting caught in the door i just don't know i'd i'd make his life yeah. crumble i'd make his life crumble bit by bit oh that, i'd be ringing be his job and all if i knew i wasn't going to finish i'd be ringing his job and all <laughs> like saying i was so and so and all yeah i'm in he's in debt can you please get him to ring back no job wants to keep you hired if you're in debt i'd 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 Stop. i'd wreck the cunt's life <laughs> yeah like i think Aaron, i yeah. hope you listen to this episode These are yeah i think if it's a new relationship like major red flag you're seeing someone yeah. six months and they come in oh i kiss someone drunk yeah that's just like no sorry save yourself some hassle there yeah like that person obviously needs to grow the fuck up and yeah. can't handle his drink and he's just being yeah. messy obviously he doesn't take a relationship seriously either yeah how do you go out and not know that you're in a relationship yeah i think save your health like it's always gonna be hard leaving someone no matter the time because i feel like girls fall a bit harder but you you will realize it and you'll you'll eventually like not go over but you'll learn to live well but i also think when you're in a new relationship and you say just like for example like the fella is going out it's very hard to trust a fella when you know they're going out yeah I think especially so. in a new relationship you're like well what are they actually like when they're yeah am i actually getting ripped off yeah exactly Do you know that kind of way but yeah. i think we're gonna wrap up there for today yeah oh i didn't know what that was i forgot you had that bedroom door but yeah um thanks for listening to all the dilemmas and the drama and i hope we helped just with some advice probably not the best advice but some advice yeah take it take it more um but yeah if you're listening on audio like spotify or apple please leave us a real and give us a follow mean a lot of you're watching the youtube video please like comment subscribe so you know when we post new videos and our socials are at the weird girls club instagram tiktok to keep up with your lives and new episodes but yeah see you next week see you next week bye